welcome back. So I'm going to tell you this wee one and this is called The Banker. It's basically a Peter Ross with a mallard wing. Now the hook and the vice is a Camazon B175 and size 12. Oh, the thread we're going to use is uni thread, yellow and black. But you can use whatever thread you like. And we're just going to put down our usual bit of thread just until we're past the point of the hook. You can remove your waist tag of thread. The tail, just golden pheasant tippet fibers now. I showed you this before, just pull the fibers in between your finger and thumb. Trim away a few fibers for the tail. Length of the tail on this one, probably around about the length of the shank of the hook over the back. And then take your thread turns down the way, tying in the tail, and then you can come in and trim away the waist. The rib, a noble silver tinsel. This is a noble silver tinsel and small that I'm using here. Just catch that in. And then we'll work our thread forward, tying in the rib and the cut ends of the golden pheasant tippet fibers. Nice and tight. Then we'll come work our thread back down. Now it's exactly tied the same as the Peter Ross, only you're picking on a mallard wing rear body. Silver tinsel. Right, this is the uni miner. Silver and gold that I'm using. And this is in size 14. To that point there. Then we'll just come up with the miner. Just an overlapping turns. Should be half the body or so. Doesn't have to be exact. Trim away the waist. Front body, just a nice bright red. Seals for Once you get an anchor onto the hook, you can then begin to take it up. Bring your thread in front of the seals for then we'll come up with the oval silver. Four turns to that point there. Come on, nice take turns the catch in our oval silver tinsel. Then you can trim away the waist. Right. Get that tail sitting for me, it's better. Front tackle. Just a black hand haggle. Strip away the rubbish from the bottom. Stroke back your fibers. Locate the tip. Offer this up to the hook. And with a couple of turns, then just come in and fold your tip back. And then just Stroke back the fibers and do one turn and just take one turn in front of the other then at this point. Just gonna look handy there. Just catch this end off underneath. Nice tight turns of thread heading down towards the eye. I'm just gonna break that off. Don't feel comfortable breaking materials off, just cut it away guys. Just want to come up a wee bit. Just to there. Now, yeah, we're not in the business. Then your mallard. Now this is tied on. You want a slim wing. On the fly. So, just, that's the way the mallard will come off there. You want to fold it from the shortest end into the, the longest fibers. It's the best you can. 
once this has a wee swim, that really matter what shape the the wing is. And just offer it up to the hook. So we just slightly less the tips of the tail there and tan it in. You can tie it longer if you wish. It's up to you. Have a wee check. Dead on. Then we'll just come in and trim everything away. And then we'll just build up our head here. Where the cut ends. Now you're going to say he's 12. Don't be shy with the head. This is part of the fly too. So basically just a Peter Ross guy, it's just which is an old Scottish favourite great pattern of Peter Ross. And you're just replacing it with the, the mallard wing. I'm happy with that so I'm just going to come in with my work finishing tool. Just throw in a whip finish. Just gonna put a wee bit of shape into the head here. Put your thread tight and come in and trim away your, your tan thread. Right, just come in and it's sitting nice for us. First coat onto the head. We drop a super glue. Right the whole way right round. Right. I would work at the super glue in the eye than on the dressing, so I'm going to use glue. You don't want to get it into your, your haggles. You just run all your hard work. And I'm just going to come in as I normally do with my double needle. Take away any excess glue. There you go guys, that's the, the second dressing out of the tying flies in the Irish style by E.J. Malone. So hopefully you can tie a few of those up. Anyway, as always, thanks for taking the time to view the video, it's greatly appreciated. And uh, all being well, I'll catch you on the next one guys. Thanks, bye.